Good morning. Welcome to the city council meeting. I would like to remind everyone to please make sure that all cell phones are turned to the off for vibrate position. Also, please be advised our city council meetings are broadcast on Comcast Channel 99, AT&T UVerse, and the City of Gadsden YouTube channel. This meeting of the Gadsden City Council will now come to order. The chair calls on City Clerk Ivan Nelson for the roll call. Councilwoman Latham. Present. Councilman Smith is absent today. Councilman Avery. Here. Councilman Back. Here. Councilman Wilson. Here. Councilwoman Minatra. Here. And Councilman Robinson. Here. We have a quorum present and our meeting is open for business. I'm going to ask Councilwoman Latham to lead the invocation. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for another day of life, health, and strength. And we ask, Lord God, that as we do the things that you have assigned to our hands that, to do, that you would lead us and you would guide us. You would instruct us to make those decisions that are best for our city. We thank you for what you have done, for what you're doing, and the things that you are going to do. We thank you for unity. And we thank you, Lord God, and we give you praise that your will be done in the city of Gaston. We ask your continued blessings upon our mayor, upon those that work in this office, upon our city, and upon our city council. We pray this prayer in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the work session and council meetings held on April 9th. So moved. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries to approve minutes. The chair will entertain a motion to ratify payment of accounts for the week of April 5th through the 11th. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. Item seven on our agenda is for proclamations and commendations and uh, recognition of special guests. Uh, Tina, do we have some this morning? Thank you. I would like to introduce you all to Liz Lampy. Liz is the new supervisor, come on up, for dispatch at Gadsden Police Department. She, um, come on up. <laughs> She's probably gonna shoot me, but that's okay. How long have you been with us, Liz? Eight Cody. years at the end of the month. She's been with us eight years at the end of the month. Um, she was very well qualified to take over dispatch. She actually hit the ground running. Come on up here so they can see you. She hit the ground running uh, with a recruiting fair over at the venue and created some gorgeous recruiting materials all on her own. And, and she's just a huge asset to the department. So I hope y'all get to meet her and talk to her and hear about her experiences. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. Thank you very much. Well, congratulations, I guess I should say. You've been with us. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just want to say hello and introduce myself. Um, yeah, I'm a member of Dispatch. Um, people wonder what we do besides just answer the phones. Um, we do a lot more than just answer the phones. We dispatch for police, fire, and medical services in the city of Gadsden. Um, also, if any other agencies outside request assistance, we set up assistance that way. Um, we're also in charge of, you know, calling the helicopter when someone has a terrible car accident. Um, we, yeah, we work, group with, uh, work with a great group of people. We've answered roughly, if you're interested, 100,000 calls come into the city of Gadsden a year. Uh, we answer all those. That's including emergency and non-emergency. Um, we're hiring, so if you know anybody who is up for the challenge of a high-stress environment, please send them my way. <laughs> that was going to be my question. <laughs> yes, I have, I have a question. So you're hiring, so good one. So give me the qualifications and the starting pay. Um, it's 18 years old. We don't all we require is a high school diploma. Um, we provide all in-house training. It's a about roughly a six month training process. Um, starting pay is seventeen sixty four an hour and that goes up once you're certified. Um, you'll be sent off, they, we send them off to what's called the National Crime Information Center School, which is how we 
really run everything. That's how we stay, you know, up to date with everything. All the police officers, we send them there. Um, any also outside training um, that I'm able to provide, I, I, you know, I send them there. 8, 10, or 12? 8, 12, 10. 12 hour shifts. <coughs> with all the ample overtime available <laughs> right now. <laughs> Any other questions or comments? I'll, I'll make one. I, I, uh, congratulations on your promotion. I've, I've heard good things about you, so I know you'll do a great job for us. And, you know, you and your staff are, are vitally important to our city. I mean, when people call 911, it's not usually a, a good call. So thank you for what you do. And I'm sure it is very high stress. But, gosh, what a needed uh, component of city services is is the dispatch you're basically the kind of the voice and the face of the city uh, 24 hours a day seven days a week so it, it doesn't go unnoticed thank you for what you do and, and good luck on uh, on the recruitment process thank you, thank you. I'm Thanks sorry yep. would you repeat your name please Liz Lampy thank you yes ma'am thank you all right <laughs> thank you All right, we'll move to item eight on our agenda. It's unfinished business. 8A is an ordinance establishing the Gadsden Arts Council. This ordinance was presented last week for first reading. It establishes a seven member board to advance and enrich the arts and will serve as a coordinating promotional and supporting body between artistic endeavors and institutions in the city. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this ordinance. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the ordinance, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Item nine is the resolution authorizing performance agreement with Keith Burns, Dreamers in the Round. This is for a concert to be held at the AMP on July 18th, 2024. Dreamers in the Round will receive 95% of the ticket sales as payment. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. <coughs> Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Item 10 is for new business. I believe we have a few items today. Uh, yes, Mr. President, I've got a few. Um, first is a resolution authorizing a public safety agreement with Alabama Power Company for um, the installation of several cameras, 15, Flock 5 megapixel HD license plate recognition cameras, also known as LPRs. Um, these will be placed, these 15 cameras will be placed throughout the city um, at, at this time, undisclosed locations. Um, we won't actually be issuing citations from these license plate recognition cameras, um, but the, the police will be able to utilize these cameras and the data they can collect to help solve crimes faster, to help identify um, certain high crime areas. Um, for example, somebody robs a bank and drives through town. Now the police will be able to go back and analyze this digital footage to be able to recognize exactly how the vehicle made its way through town and give it a better direction idea of where to look for that um, for that suspect. So, and it again, so it'll help. It'll help the police department after the fact solve crimes, but also we hope that it will be um, a deterrent for crime as well to, to know that these cameras are out there and they exist. Um, now, this is the tip of the iceberg of what our grand master plan is for Gadsden. Over the next several years, the plan will be to implement um, potentially hundreds of cameras all over the city of Gadsden. And this is really keeping in line with a, a a facility that we toured about a year ago in Oxford called the EMAC Center, where several surrounding counties and municipalities um, have access to this world-class digital technology center that has camera systems throughout the community. Um, it, it's really just unbelievable. The truth of the matter is, bottom line, if we're going to fix the issues that we have with uh, with the police department as far as being able to pay these guys what they're worth in order to get there we have to utilize technology to help solve this problem and the more of these cameras out there the hope is 
the less amount of time police officers will have to spend simply sitting around observing and the more time they can spend being proactive about preventing future crimes. So um, again, this is just the tip of the iceberg and over the next few years you'll see Gadsden continuing to embrace technology in our law enforcement. So um, this will be with Alabama Power actually providing the cameras. We'll pay um, uh, $4,062 a month to Alabama Power. They will install the camera systems. They'll maintain them. They pay for the uh, Comcast Wi-Fi uh, service that's utilized to run the cameras and have that real-time data transferred to us. Um, so Alabama Power will, will own and manage the equipment. We'll pay them $4,000 a month um, for that service. And again, the hope is that we'll continue to develop this relationship with Alabama Power Public Safety Division um, and, and continue to add more and more of these cameras to help improve the overall safety of the city of Gadsden. So um, with that in mind, there's a 60-day um, price lock on the offer that we received from Alabama Power and that's coming up expires on the 20th of this month so with that in mind um, I would like to ask my colleagues to suspend the rules and consider this under new business today so that we don't uh, lose this pricing okay. Okay. All right. is there any other discussion clerk we take the vote those in favor to consider the resolution today as an item of new business let it be known by saying aye aye, aye. Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Move to adopt. Second. <coughs> Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Uh, Mr. President, the next two I have actually are, are kind of bundled together, but I'll, I'll go through them each individually. Um, but this is resolution awarding bid number 3554, or excuse me, bids. 3554 through 3560 for the 2024 nuisance abatement grass cutting contract. Um, some of you guys may recall in the past when we first, when we did this the first time, the city had never done this before. When we did it the first time last year, actually a single uh, service provider bid, we broke it up into seven bids, for one for each district, a bid for each district, um, and a single service provider won the bid for all seven districts. Um, that individual did, chose not to renew their contract with the city, so we rebid it same way, seven unique bids by district. And this time we actually had much more participation in the bid process. So we'll have three different service providers who have been awarded bid contracts for individual um, uh, districts around the city. So we'll actually have three different companies out there doing what one company was doing before, which we think is going to be better, and the rates that these individuals are um, are making are a little better, so hopefully the, the quality of service is, is acceptable to everybody. So um, with that in mind, the bids range from one and a half cents to two cents per square foot, depending on the district and the individual bid. Um, we all know it's grass cutting season, especially over the last two days. It went from being springtime to middle of July. It feels like out there in about 24 hours. So the grass is about to start growing and we need to get this done. So um, if there's no objections from my colleagues, I'd like to suspend the rules and consider this under new business. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today under new business, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Move to adopt. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Um, and the companion ordinance to this resolution is uh, Ordinance 288, amending the fiscal year 2024 budget. All this is actually doing, this is really just administrative housekeeping. Um, the budget that we set um, for these nuisance abatement grass cutting contracts was originally overseen by the engineering department. So this will actually um, simply transfer the money that we've already budgeted from the engineering grass cutting account to the building grass cutting account because the building department is now going to oversee uh, the nuisance abatement grass cutting process and will be the ones to manage the relationship with these three uh, service providers. So again, all this order 
ordinance does is amends the budget to move the money from the engineering department over to the building department. Um, and with that in mind, I would ask that we suspend the rules and consider this under new business as well. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the ordinance today as an item of new business, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? We have unanimous consent for consideration. Move to adopt. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the ordinance, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Um, the last thing I have, Mr. President, is a resolution consenting to the amendment of the incorporation and bylaws of the Gas and Commercial Development Authority. Uh, the primary purpose of these amendments is to reduce the uh, size of the board from 13 members to nine members. Um, specifically, I'll read the paragraph uh, that's being amended. That's Article 2, Section 7. It says, all corporate powers shall be exercised by or under authority of, and the business and affairs of the corporation shall be managed under the direction of the board of directors. Only those persons who reside, work regularly, or own real property within the corporate limits of Gadsden may be a director. The corporation shall have nine directors, the mayor of the city of Gadsden, with the approval and consent of the governing body of the city of Gadsden, shall select the directors. The directors shall serve staggered terms of the directors. Three shall serve a term of three years, three shall serve a term of two years, and three shall serve a term of one year. If at the expiration of any term of office of any director, a successor thereto shall not have been selected and approved, then the director whose term of office shall have expired shall continue to hold office until a successor is elected. Any member of the governing body of the city of Gadsden is eligible for election as a director. However, the term of any council member as a director shall terminate with his or her term of elected office. Uh, so again, all we're doing is changing the, uh, well, all the board of the Commercial Development Authority is doing is changing the number of board seats and clarifying exactly who is eligible to serve on that on that authority board. So um, the, this has been requested by the uh, Commercial Development Group to have um, action on today. So if there's no objections, I'd like to suspend the rules and consider this under new business. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today as an item of new business, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Move to adopt. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. That's all I have, Mr. President. All right. Thank you. That's all for new business. Uh, item 11 is department reports, committees, boards. Do we have any of those this morning? All right. Seeing none, we'll go to uh, <coughs> remarks by the mayor and council. N nothing of uh, Mayor Ford's serving our country this week, I believe. So nothing from the mayor's office today. We'll start. Let's start in uh, District you, 7. You start, I want you to start District 7 next week because I have zero to say today. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there. I'm like, I knew he was going to go to me oh, first. No. I, have we, not, I, have, I have no comments, Mr. President. Thank you. Nothing going yield on the at rest of the remaining of my time. <laughs> you, you yield. Okay. Uh, we do have our uh, our Friends Fest, uh, yeah. from Friends of the Falls, this weekend on uh, Saturday afternoon. It's going to be uh, got some food trucks. You can dine out there over the uh, looking at the falls. Uh, we're going to have some fireworks and probably some fire pits going if the weather cooperates with us. It's going to be a fun event and. Uh, uh, if anybody needs uh, tickets, you can stop by any location of, of the Blackstones, or you can go to the Knockalow Falls Park, or you can actually go on the website there, uh, Friends of the Falls, and purchase or let us know you need some. We can give them to you. Love to see everybody out there. That's all. Thank Good you job. for reminding Thanks. me that. Yeah. Thank you. Councilwoman Minotra. Um I just want to make <coughs> mention of our, um, I, I'll call it our annual uh, cleanup day for the city of Gadsden, which is going to be Friday the 25th. Um, so a week from this Friday, and we are um, this year asking for volunteers from our city to help all of the districts um, that are going to be assisted by city 
by city employees. So it's a total team effort. And um, if you'd like to sign up, uh, we have a flyer that will be posted on um, the City of Gadsden website along with all of our districts are posting that as well. So please join us on Friday the 25th. Um, we're gonna start at, we're gonna meet at the venue. 26th, uh, I'm sorry. Um, we're gonna meet at the venue at 8.30 and and um, it concludes at noon, and there will be lunch provided afterwards. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Wilson. Um, I, I don't have anything, Mr. President, other than I will say just uh, as a hospitality and food and beverage professional, uh, hats off to the Choice Restaurant. Um, President Back informed me today that they had made the decision to close their doors there, um, which was, you know, sad. That's been an institution on Broad Street for a long time. So um, hats off to them on a great run. I think it was 19 years yeah. that they operated that location. So congratulations on uh, a wonderful career in the, in the food and beverage industry. If you can do anything for 19 years, you're pretty special. So that's all I have, Mr. President. All right. Thank you. Councilman Avery. Yes. <clears throat> thank you, Mr. President. Um, I did owe to um, Councilman Wilson's uh, comment. That was my breakfast spot every morning. So. Uh, We'll be heading down to 77 and, and continuing there with those guys uh, with some good food. Nevertheless, I um, want to thank all of those that came out on this past Saturday and participated in our uh, uh, annual community cleanup in District 3. Um, it's, it's been quite a bit, uh, uh, quite a many. I can't remember how many we've done so far. Um, last year we done, I think, about, about three. And so this year we just narrowed it down to doing one because um, we have actually a few going on. Gaston State did one, I want to say, last week or, or two weeks before that. But now you have also Gaston State Community uh, College, Valley Street, uh, HBCU uh, campus will be actually conducting theirs tomorrow, April the 17th at 11 a.m. Uh, with the LP. <coughs> and CNA programs. So anyone that has some free time um, starting at 11 a.m. Um, and they also are partnered with a um, uh, same group that we partner with and that's PALS. Um, and PALS uh, this year model is 2024 Alabama PALS. Don't drop it on Alabama statewide spring clean entire uh, month of April. Um, and then we also want to appreciate and thank uh, Keep Eddie Wall Beautiful for the uh, items that they also provided. Anyone needs some bags, whether you're in District 3 or whatever district you are, um, but particularly speaking to District 3 right now, if you need some bags, I have a plethora of bags uh, to help. There are some members I have been seeing that have been getting out in the community and kind of uh, with the pickup sticks, and they uh, have been picking up. So I want to thank you all for those efforts that uh, you are doing to keep the community clean as we also look at the efforts to keep the city clean. However, I also want to also say to those that are, um, um, I guess uh, for nice words, that is taking a blind eye to um, signage that says, do not litter. Uh, I put a post up, I think it was either this morning or last night, of um, with the verbiage that I really want to say, uh, or wanted to say, um, to those that literally dump right there at a sign that says, do not litter. And I think it shows the, uh, the type of, um, uh, Again, nice words, person that you are. Uh, and so my hope and dreams is that uh, with this camera systems and anything else that we can do um, as uh, District 7 is going to be very proactive in whatever it takes to catch you, uh, especially the person has, that has dumped hundreds of tires um, uh, in District 7. And I mean hundreds, and this is no exaggeration by far. If you want to go take a look at them and, and put it in your catalog, it's up on Redwood. And it's it now it's actually worse because some idiot actually went up there and dumped uh, some other things on on Brentwood where you can't even drive the street now. So whatever it's going to take, uh, we're going to be proactive and 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 um, partnering and with who and whatever we got to do to make sure that these uh, these uh, illegal uh, dumpers get uh, get caught. Uh, Lastly, um, uh, this uh, weekend, it is a flashback weekend for those that are interested. Um, it, it is a reunion for Litchfield, uh, Emma Sansom, Gaston High, 
and Eddie Wall. Uh, primarily, and then of course, I think it added in Gaston City, and then maybe uh, Carver as well. Um, those schools that were uh, in the city limits, um, um, and I'm sure anyone is invited. But there'll be a game that is going on on uh, Friday, uh, and then Saturday there's a um, uh, there's a cookout or uh, whatever it's called. Uh, then, then there are some events on Sunday, so I apologize, but uh, it'll start at uh, Friday, um, if I'm not mistaken, April 19th. Doors will open at 6 p.m., uh, so just something extra to do, um, just going, uh, going to that event to just kind of rekindle those memories with some, some old schoolmates is always fun, so uh, that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Councilman. Councilwoman Latham. No remarks. Thank you, ma'am. Huh? All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I want to remind everybody of with the good weather, there's going to be children out walking, running, playing. Um, I see it in my neighborhood. Please slow down. We, we have uh, the radar signs are out. And while they aren't uh, intended to necessarily, it's intended to slow you down, to let you know how fast you're going in a maybe a 25 mile an hour speed zone. So please be aware of that. We are writing speeding tickets. And uh, the, uh, they're becoming close to those signs. And so uh, be careful with your speed. There's a lot of people out, a lot of people walking. And uh, you just can't be in that big of a hurry. I mean, it, it, and it doesn't get you there that much faster anyway. So just please be careful of that. Also, on, on the litter, we're continuing to have dumping, as you've heard in Councilman Avery's remarks. And it's all over the city. Uh, please, if you see somebody do that, report them. Call City Hall and and make a report. Uh, it, it's it's gotten a lot better, but it, it's it, it's it's still happening. So, uh, the mayor and his team and this council have dedicated ourselves to cleaning up our city. It looks a lot better, but there's a lot more work yet yet to be done, and we just have to be consistent. It's a kind of a mindset. Uh, so let's just have our mindset on having a having a clean city and uh, and driving responsible. And so with that, I uh, wish everybody a great week. We'll be Mr. back. President. Oh, we've got one more. Yeah, I just wanted to add one thing on that note about yes. just looking out, not in addition to kids walking and families and runners and cyclists and stuff on the surface streets and the neighborhood streets. This is also just a public reminder to make sure you move over on the interstate when you see somebody on the side of the road. I mean, there's idiots out there that are changing tires on trailers that are halfway in the interstate. And I mean, who knows who you'd hit. So y'all make sure you pull over into that left lane when you see people stranded. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Everybody have a good day.